In this video, I want to show you one of my favorite things that has helped me with my mental wellness. It's helped a number of clients even before I got into this breath work, breath practice space when I was effectively counseling and working with psychotherapy and helping people get their stuff sorted out. This was one of the best received, most well-regarded processes that I ever shared. My name is Adam Stanecki. I am the Breath Geek. I speak about everything to do with breathing and how it relates to health, wellness, and performance. If you like this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, maybe sharing with a friend. So one of the things that came up a lot when I was working in the therapy space and still comes up now when I'm working with breath, but more towards the side of mental health and mental wellness is the idea of creating boundaries. And specifically, I mean creating boundaries that separate activities outside of home from the activities inside home. And what I mean by that most often is creating a little stop, a little pause, a circuit breaker between all of the stressful stuff, all of the concerns, all of the activities that go on in work and what's about to happen at home. One of the things, one of the traps that we often fall into, and that's not just you, that's me, is bringing home your stuff. The stuff at work doesn't need to come home. Even if you work at home, you can use this process to put a stop or at least a pause on that work activity. Leave it in its own bucket so you can go and be with your family or your partner or your friends or whomever and not take that stuff with you. Now, quite honestly, it doesn't matter which breath practice you use. The idea is mostly about creating a moment for you to stop, for you to pause, for you to end what you have been doing before you move on to the next thing. And that's the most important part. Now, of course, I'm a breath guy. I will tell you that the best way that you can do this or the best thing that you can do to make this work for you is to add some kind of breathing practice to this idea of creating a pause, a circuit breaker. So what I'm going to suggest to you is, if you have a favorite breathing practice or an exercise, use it. Spend one, two, three, five minutes doing that exercise until you feel a state change come on. Maybe your body relaxes, maybe your mind relaxes, maybe you just feel a little bit better. At that point, move on. So what you're looking to do is change your state. Maybe calm your mind, maybe just relax your shoulders, whatever it may be, using whichever breath practice is best for you. If you don't know one, the simplest thing you can do is close your mouth and simply turn your focus to your breathing. Just follow the air going in your nose all the way down, being drawn in by the diaphragm and then relaxing back out. That's it. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't fill your brain with anything more than it needs. Just create yourself those few minutes of doing nothing but focusing on your breathing. That's it. That is the whole process. I kid you not, it's the simplest thing I've ever shared with anyone and possibly the best. If you like this video, please subscribe, please hit like, please share with a friend. Breathe easy and I'll see you next time.